Let's begin by attaching our thread at the index point and clipping the excess thread. Now begin advancing your thread back halfway down the bend of the hook, ensuring that each thread wrap lays next to the previous one. Now go ahead and prepare three micro fibbits, making sure that the tips are aligned. With the tips of the micro fibbits extending past the hook, go ahead and attach it at the bend of the hook with three to four secure thread wraps, making sure that each thread wrap advances forward towards the eye of the hook as you wrap. Now you want the tail of the fly to be about a half a shank length long. So go ahead and pull the butt ends of the micro fibbits until the tail is an appropriate length. Now begin to advance your thread forward, ensuring that you secure the micro fibbits to the top of the hook shank as you wrap. With your thread hanging just behind the index point of the hook, go ahead and cut off the butt ends of the micro fibbits as close as you can to the thread base. Now prepare a three inch piece of clear midge larva lace and attach it just behind the index point of the hook. Now begin to advance your thread back towards the base of the tails ensuring that you secure the larva lace on top of the hook shank as you wrap. Now go ahead and advance your thread forward making sure that each thread wrap lays next to the previous one. With the thread hanging at the index point of the hook, go ahead and grab the larva lace and begin to wrap it around the hook shank, ensuring that each wrap of the larva lace lays next to the previous one. Now go ahead and secure the larva lace to the near side of the hook shank at the index point. And cut off the excess larva lace as close as you can to the tie down point. Now go ahead and grab a clump of bright white antron and attach it at the index point of the hook shank. With a pair of scissors, go ahead and cut off the butt ends of the antron as close as you can to the tie down point. Now go ahead and create a thread head, ensuring that all the butt ends of the antron are covered up.
Now go ahead and finish your fly using a whip finish tool and cut off the excess thread. With a pair of scissors, go ahead and trim the antron wing so it's in line with the 50% point of the hook shank. And that's how you tie the go-to emerger.